Right, obviously we know that um, Amy Winehouse did the cover of Valerie with Mark Ronson, so a lot of people might have just heard of you from her. Um, what did you actually think to the cover? Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's brilliant. Well, the thing is she got to number two, didn't she? Yeah, she got to number nine. Yeah, yeah. fair play, no, though. It's that's, crazy. You know, after what can you say? It's flattering. It's like, it's a really good thing. Yeah. Especially when you're out the loop for a bit. Now, the album's called You Can Do Anything, mm-hmm. Out in June. How does it differ from your first two albums, would you say? Um, it's more more mature, I guess, in yeah. the playing sense, in lyric sense of things. I guess it's still, to us, it's hard to see. We're the same band, but then when we've played our mates different things, and they go, oh, that's well different, or it's not yeah. what I was expecting. It's like, oh... It surprised me. Yeah, we thought it people. might be a bit obviously like what we've done or something like that but it's not really and now that we've took it away from LA and we're out of the working process it's just like there's longer songs and there's a little bit more experimentation and I guess and new total new sounds which of course yeah yeah just yeah new sounds and there's different instruments we've got a few people in to play on it's mm-hmm. um, Ben Montench come in and play out the Heartbreakers he come in and play some keyboards and stuff yeah. which was brilliant mm-hmm. but um yeah, I just think it's a more grown up record without being too grown up. It's just more not grown up, no, it's not it's just we're just more comfortable. When you were recording the album in LA, obviously you were there for quite a long time. Did you have a good time, you know? Yeah, it was um I really enjoyed being in L- in LA, um where we went to do the album. It was um something you know, we've always done our first and our second album were done in England. So it was a totally different experience to go somewhere else and work with people from a different country and it's got a different LA. headspace on it, wasn't yeah, it? and yeah. stuff like that. It was really good working with um, George, the producer, and stuff like because um, he was. Uh, we, this time we've made it more of an album. Where as before, I don't. We've always made an album, but before we were trying to replicate what we done live or mm. trying to get across what we done live more on a record. But this time we've kind of made the record, and we're going to try and replicate the record live. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of Obviously. a bit of a switch around, yeah, for us. What festivals are you doing this year? Have you got a tour to support the album as well? Yeah, we've got... Um, we the, the day the day after the record comes out on the 2nd of June, we've got our first Forest tour, Forest gig, which is a, a tour that's happening all the way through June. It's like... Every there's like two every week or something like that in Some, different forests. Yeah, it's all in forests around, around the country, mixed in with festivals. Yeah. And but they're like mini festivals on their own. They seem don't like when I got the the spec or whatever you call it. It's it, the five thousand capacities and you know it's going to be like food stands and it, it looks really good. It looks that impressive. Yeah, kind of thing, little so. mini outdoor festivals. Oh, yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah. But and then we're doing that, um, and then I think we'll do a tour in autumn or something yeah. like that. But it's. I think festivals are scattered. I think we're doing Isle of Wight and Glastonbury, and I'm not sure one what else. We're, I'm not sure what else we're confirmed on really. So mm. it's one of them. It's it's all piling in at the moment. It's all good. Mm. So tell us about your single, the first track from the new album. It's called <clears throat> Always Right Behind You. Um, how does it sound? Do you sing it as a little bit? Yeah, it's just it's just a <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing it. Maybe you could do air sax. <laughs> no, I'd rather sing. Yeah, the drums, it goes like that. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I think um, it's like an, an upbeat kind of stomping, dancey one, I suppose. That's how I'd say it. But I'm not going to compare it to anything that people are comparing it to at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just about someone owing money to Dave and Dave here and that they've got the money and spending it on other things. Yeah, so he's <laughs> keeping an eye out. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs>